ネトマーブルー What is going on, everybody? It's your guy, Senpai Rai, and we just got a new season of Championship that has just opened up. So let's check that out right now in the King of Fighters Championship. Now, as you see, it is placement match time. So let's see what everybody looks like. Let's do it right now. Now we have K Dash with Deathless set number one. And keep in mind that the Beautiful Day set came out with the update when it came to the card update system as well. And this is the Psyche Defense into Attack Conversion Kaya set kit. And the rest of these have the Deathless Beautiful Day set. So three times, what, five? Two, four, yep, that's 15. Plus I completely leveled up a Shin set, so that's 18. New sets. Or er, 18 new set cards since the update. So, if you fancy yourself as a content creator, maybe you should start creating content instead of bitching about how difficult it is all the time. You're setting a bad example for everybody. You should be ashamed of yourself, sirs. Or ma'ams. Now, let's jump right into the fray. Right this second. What say you? Now. Who shall... Oh, Lord. I'm gonna absolutely be a gentleman. <laughs> you keep your <laughs> Orochi Iori. I will not touch him, I promise. You got this, Nine, champ. Eight, oh, Lord. Seven, six, um, five, fight. Does, uh... I forget, does championship come with an auto battle feature? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Um, Jesus Christ. Chase, it's like, oh yeah, it is like 9 o'clock in the morning. For some reason, I, th I thought it was like 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm out of my element playing morning championship. I never play morning championship. Alright, skill 2 did not catch the reset, but did not need it. Jesus Christ. Lady Geese, you're like a f effing sledgehammer. Waste of time. Round 2. But yeah, you guys, if I seem a little bit distracted for this championship, it's because, oh yeah, I also should be at work right now. That's another reason you will never see me typically during the weekday morning championship. Because um, yesterday was Sunday and I went over to my dad's house and uh, made sure everything was straight for the week, you know. And uh, I have a 16-year-old uh, family dog that was living over there that I've pretty much had for half of my life. And, well, I made sure that she had food and everything, you know, for the week whenever I went over there. Watched the uh, Saints and the Panthers game with my dad, because I rarely get to see him. And, well, a couple hours later when I was about ready to head home, like, my dog wasn't breathing. So, like, <laughs> I spent, like, Pretty much from 3 o'clock in the morning to past daylight, burying her, because we have a little bit of land. Nine, eight, seven, so, six, I'm in no, uh, <laughs> I'm in no way to go to work today. I need something mindless. So here I am. Morning Championship, King of Fighters All-Star. Let's go. Basics. Get out of the corner. Caught you with skill three. It's also good hold skill. Hit you with skill one. Going. <laughs> Who said that awakened characters weren't useful? <laughs> Not I, said the fly. But yeah, she was a um, 16 year old pitbull terrier. I remember whenever I first got it, like, where I'm from, they like, they, they have a bunch of Michael Vick wannabes around here that enjoy animal fighting games, 
usually whatever they can get their hands on, but especially dogs. And whenever I first uh, was looking for a dog a long time ago, a uh, buddy of mine said that a, uh, an acquaintance of his out in the country uh, just had a litter, and uh, I was looking for a dog, so why not check it out? But uh, I go out there, and there were um, eight puppies. So I guess it was a pretty big litter, and um, most of the dogs were... They had crazy papers on them. Like, I'm talking about looking like a uh, paper towel roll if you let it slide off the counter. That's what their sheet looked like as far as uh, the kinds of papers they had on them as far as bloodline. And um, all the all of them, um, my dog's name was Bella. All of her brothers and sisters were like really energetic or had big head or big paws. You know, they were going to grow into some really good game dogs. But um, whenever I try to pick them up, you know, they would always try to get away. Good game, Hyperstorm's Nick. But um, whenever I saw the shy one, uh, I picked her up, and as soon as I did, I saw that she had all these marks and everything on her, like she had been bitten up. And I picked her up, and she stu and uh, she started shaking. And then I I brought her up to my eye level, and she um licked me on the cheek, and. The guy that was on the dogs was like, oh, you don't want that Nine, one. Eight, and seven, I asked him why six, not. And he said, five, oh, that's a training dog. And I was like, what the hell's a training dog? Well, apparently what some people do is they put dogs in close quarters, like, say, a closet or a narrow hallway. And whenever they're puppies, you buck their heads towards each other. So not only does it freak them out, Round and one. it's a shock to the system, obviously, to buck two animals' heads together. But it teaches them how to be violent, too. But what a trained dog is, you get the uh, weakest dog at the litter, the runt. And you pretty much pit all the other uh, dogs up against that one dog. So that dog usually doesn't survive, you know. But in turn, it makes other dogs stronger and more capable attack dogs, apparently. So whenever I heard that, and uh, after Belle like my face, after I picked her up, and she was the only one that, did, that didn't try to get away or freak out when I tried to pick her up, like she was calm. And she was shaking whenever I first picked her up, and when I brought her up eye level, level, she was calm. Like I told him I want that one. <laughs> I was like, okay, you sure, man? I was like, well, shit, if you feel some type of way about it, and you try and talk me out of it, I mean, cut me a discount. <laughs> Why not? Sure, save an extra fifty bucks. I tell you, I would have paid like 10 times what he was asking if I knew that she was going to turn into what she turned into. I mean, I know that she's had arthritis and she had been really slow moving. Of course, we all accustomed that to age, but whenever I first got to my dad's earlier on in the day, she, was, she looked like she was fine. I mean, she wasn't obviously as energetic as she normally is, but I didn't think I was going I need to shut the hell up, like, did I really play through at least almost the whole match just talking? Yeah, this is, a uh, Kay's new, uh, super, his 5-2 that dropped on his banner date, his new banner date. Oh, lord. Did I connect? I don't know. Did I connect? I don't know. Did I, oh, he's able to use all that? I don't, I don't know. Let me just finish this up. I have no idea what happened. Because he was in the middle of the roll animation when I hit the 5 tier on him, so I have no idea. As uh, I'm sure that people can guess, I'm a little bit distracted today. <laughs> Usually not the um, epitome of sunshine. Not a ray of effing sunshine today, everybody. <laughs> but, you know, I get, I, I get one every now and then, I guess. For Moses' death. Great game. Thank you for the competition, sir. And... Thank you, everybody, for just... God damn it. I, I, I know I said it out loud a second ago, but I did just realize that I was just droning on about just Fight. what's been going in my head in the past, like, what, Nine, 10 eight, hours or so? Seven, and I, I don't usually do that, but I just wanted to say to everybody that's one other end. Thank you. Thank you for just listening. Fuck. Like... Round one. I, I talk to you over me talking to my friends because as soon as my friends find out about it, like, they're going to be freaking out too because this is a family dog. Like, this is, this dog has been with me for my life. But, 
so all I want to say was thank you guys. Thank you all for being there. Okay. Skill 3, caught you. You have 3 seconds of damage to me. Push all the way through. Skill 1, miss with my skill 2. Uh, guard, hold up. That's fine. I'll eat your skill 2. I'll live it. Oh, God. I contest that. I think I should have caught you from out of roll, but it's fine. Now, play bigness. You have about 4 tears coming your way. And I don't think those magical sunglasses will save you. And you already got rid of your forward push. Oh no! Get out of there! Combo Queen Alert plus poison damage! Wow. <laughs> Ouch. As soon as you start talking too much, sometimes shit hits the fan the wrong way, everybody. You like to leave with that skill 3, which is good for me. Now skill. Oh my god! And luck is on your side! My skill 2 and 3 missed. Yeah, I rolled it though, so Suwu, real quick. 6 second reflex stun. Move order. Skill 2, there we go. Skill 3. Jesus! Okay. Timing is a little bit off of maximum. Now, I'm going to. Uh, never mind. Was able to still suffer a little bit, but mistakes were made. Now. Maxima is one of my best players, that's why even though it, if it may have looked smooth and for a win streak, okay. Um, I demand a lot when it comes to characters that I label as me being decent at Hyperstorm's Nick. Deja Vu, Hyperstorm Nick, squared. What's up, buddy? Great game, great rematch, sir. But now, we have the finisher. We have the final game. We have... Carlos on the other end. What team do you play for Carlos? Um, I know one plays with God Joy, and there's an unaffiliated Carlos. Don't you dare freeze up on me right now, game. What is happening? Okay. God Joy's Carlos. There you have it. And it has been a while since I played this individual because it has been a while since I played in the morning. And. You have a whole different set of animals at the feeding hole come morning time. And as y'all know, I am heavily a nocturnal creature who feeds on his prey via night time. So, let's... Nameless, you are dangerous. Skill 2, caught you, here we go. Skill 1... God damn it! Okay! I waited a half a second too, a split second too long before I hit you with a skill of three, and I completely whiffed it, and I'm com I'm paying for it right now. And blood, Jesus, good basic to basic to basic combo with Nameless. Well done. And again, I have played God Choice Carlos a few times, and it's pretty decent fights, usually back and forth. But anytime I see a God Choi or an RR. I smile, because I know that at the very least it's going to be a great fight. And here we go. You just knocked out one of my strongest characters with 87% of your health left? Okay, got to step my game up. You wanted to shake me out of a mood? I'm distracted. And win or loss right now? Thank you, Carlos. Now let's go. Alright, block. Got you. Alright. Went with a fake out since Nameless typically doesn't have a guard break with a maybe a 10% with if he has a Ryugo. Block for a second in the corner and I would with basics and was able to clinch it. Now, we have. Hmm. Okay. Use your skill three. Use your skill three. Use your skill three. That's a dangerous one. Shit! I thought I had another split second super armor to hide behind my skill two. She used her skill three, and here we go. She used skill one ravenous. Don't hit me with anything. Yes! Okay, she did not catch a reset. She had a one in three chance to reset. I had a 70% chance to guard break. She used her forward pushing skill to get out of there. All right, pops her up in the air, and this is a perfect opportunity. Three tier fireball right now. This is how you want to hit them while they're floating in midair so they can drift back and take as much DPS with a fireball as possible, as you guys see. So, get out of there. Oh, Lord! I thought I still had the 1% uh, set to hide behind, which would have clinched it, but I forgot that she touched me at 1% a while ago, and it had been used up for at least 45 seconds on the Beautiful Day card set. Now, oh no. Okay, I got 3 seconds of damage immunity. I'm going to catch this next one. 
Did she catch a reset? No! She caught the one three reset. Here come all of her actives over again. Shit. And a super. And a super. Can I frame out of it? Half a second. Jesus! Okay. Ouch. Okay, under 10% health. Finish up skill two. God damn it. Good one. Okay. I'm going up against the bigness lady right now with about 6% health. I'm going to use Maxima what she was... Well, what she's supposed to be, a ranged specialist to just try to melt her preliminary health, but I can't really do a ton of DPS on her on the spot unless I use her little combo. Okay, yeah, the corner, there it is. I was waiting for the six second reflex stun. Get out of there. Skill two, ba uh, skill one, skill three, pop wings, and god damn it, yes! Woo! Under 3% health. God choice, Carlos! Doing the damn thing. Thank you for that epic way to end the placement matches, my friend. And you hear it in my voice. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for just that jolt of adrenaline and just, I, I feel a little bit better just, again, talking to you guys. But again, shout out God Choice Carlos. Thank you for that one, buddy. And of course, we have Hyperstorms Nick, who we played twice, as you guys see and as you guys remember. And of course, we have Formosa's Death. Thank you for the match as well, sir. And of course, we have Tuffalador's Unaffiliated as the first game. Thank you very much for just, well, for the good competition, just being G's about the situation. And to all my subs and people that are stopping by in the King of Fighters Championship. And I know that I am a little bit gloomy today, but thank y'all for sitting in and listening to me just speak on how I feel. So, we are current rank 214. We are match count 5. Right here. Boom. Uh, win count 5. 100%. Current win streak also 5. Great games, everybody. And... This has been the King of Fighters Championship one last time. Everybody out there, huge shout out. Thank you all for just being a part of the community that we all know, love, and thoroughly enjoy, especially when we are playing in championship. And again, I'm going to shoot you guys another shout out to both my subs and my fans and just the people that support me not only you know through the channel but just even if right this second it feels like i am talking to myself i know that i'm not and i'm thankful that i have you guys to just vent to so from everything that i am thank you guys and this has been your guy senpai rai and i'm out you guys and once finally thank you and good night everybody out.